Continuing coverage tonight on a Macon apartment fire that left dozens of people without a place to call home. The Macon Bib Fire Department is still looking into the cause of the fire and caused pretty extensive damage. Serena Burst joins us live at Green Meadows Townhomes on Log Cabin Drive to show us what part of the complex looks like right now. Frank, the Macon Bib Fire Department put out that fire, but people who lived here tell me they can still feel the wrath of the blaze. This is my front room and you see the the um, ceiling collapsed in it. Alexis Bellinger's unit was one of 17 damaged in a Monday night fire at Green Meadows townhouses. Megan Bib Fire Lieutenant Ben Gleaton says they're still trying to figure out what caused the flames. He says they do know that it started behind building C on the lower porch and spread quickly. He says the possibilities include a hot grill or smoking materials left on the porch. Bellinger says she and her one year old son lost everything because of the water damage. It just made me want to cry because now I don't know what to do. I don't know where to start from. She says the American Red Cross gave her $250 and offered her a shelter to stay in overnight. It's hard to look at what was once her home, but neighbor Janae Curry is looking on the bright side. Just to see another day. Bellinger lived in the complex for about four months. She says she'll try her best to make a new home for her baby boy. Because I'm still alive, my baby's still alive. This apartment can be replaced, my kids can't, I can't. The American Red Cross says caseworkers will be in contact with families affected by this fire to help them out with clothes and food. For now in Macon, Sabrina Burst, 13 WMAZ News. All right, thank you, Sabrina. 17 units were affected. Macon Bib Fire Lieutenant Ben Gleaton says the fire burned seven units. The rest suffered water damage.